have you with us on this busy afternoon as we talk about what's going on as far as the world of sports is concerned. Nice to have you with us here as we chat. Steve Phillips gave you a good idea, good understanding. I think Matheny would be the one guy that I'd be a little worried about uh, if I was uh, looking maybe to see where I was from a managerial standpoint. Gets off to a, if the Cardinals really fall to remember, they have uh, never, I haven't gone three years in a row without a postseason appearance since 97, 98, 99. So it's been a long, long time. Uh, they had La Russa then, so they, you know, that's a little different. They've been a long time for them. So I would be a little worried about him in, in a big scenario. We'd have to wait and see as far as, uh, as far as, um, as far as Matheny is concerned. I think Cora and Boone will do well. Uh, I think Boone can't help not do well. I mean, he's got such a good team that you're not going to get a read on Boone until you get later in the year and they maybe have a big game against Boston and everything else. You know, Boone's uh, track record is going to be in the world. It's going to be in the postseason. I mean, that's what it comes down to. The Yankees set that precedent by firing Girardi after last year when they got to a game seven of the ALCS. Um, and, you know, a lot of people think that Girardi could end up in St. Louis, by the way. Uh, play for the Cardinals. A lot of people have mentioned that. If they got rid of uh, Matheny, here comes George. Girardi loves that. It's a great baseball market. They're a loyal fan base. That's something that I've heard. We'll have to wait until I don't want to put Matheny on a griddle, but he is the one guy, I think, and you heard Phillips echo that. But I think Boone will do well. I think Cora will do well. Sounds like Cora is going to get away a little bit from letting him uh, you know, take nine million pitches, let him cut and slash, which is kind of the personality of the Red Sox anyway. They got those, you know, they're gonna, they like to cut and slash uh, Ben Attendi and people like that. So we'll see, uh, you know, how that works itself out there with um, uh, with Corey here down the road. We'll keep an eye on that. But uh, I, those two, I think, would be okay. Matheny would be the one guy that would worry me. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody else out there. I think Dave Martinez is fine. Uh, you know, uh, again, you can't grade him until you get to the postseason anyway. I don't think anything's going to happen to him. Uh, I guess you could mention Mattingly. But, you know, I, well, what, are the, what are the Marlins going to do? Get rid of Don Mattingly? I mean, Jeter loves him as a player. I, I don't know if the Marlins would do that. Uh, but, you know, you know where we are as far as uh, some of these teams are concerned. Matheny would be the one question mark. Here's Andre in Chicago, and he's with us here. He's on Mad Dog Unleashed. Andre, good afternoon. How are you today? What do you have for me? All right, Mad Dog. It's an honor. I, You know, I listen to you. I've been listening to you for the last uh, maybe about three or four years, and especially the year that the Cubs won the World Series in the last year. And I don't know if I'm out of bounds for saying this, but I just think you throw it on the Cubs a lot. Uh, and I was just listening to Steve Phillips when he picked the Cubs. And you turn around, you say, well, you think the Yankees are better than the Cubs? Yeah, I know. I think the Yankees. Yankees. Uh, but yeah, you're right. But I think your first point is correct, Andre. I have been a little down in the Cubs for whatever the reason. You wouldn't think so, but I think you're right. So I'm not going to deny that. Uh, I, but I, but let's, so you're right. I've thrown some cold water on them. You know, uh, they, they got mad. I was, I thought they were a little overrated a couple of years ago. They turned out to win the whole thing as it turned, as, as it, uh, I got all over those young players for making out, striking out folks like that. But I don't think that's as good as the Yankees. Uh, but I understand your point though. Overall, they've been hard on the Cubs. You're right about that. hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. So. You said starting pitching. Now, I can understand maybe the bullpen slightly. The lineup, I think our players, position, bat for bat, can go deep as the Yankees can. But you said starting pitching. The Yankees starting pitcher, is the staff is better than the Cubs. And I'm trying to, where where at? Well, let's, forget the bullpen. The bullpen is 20 times better than the Cubs. Let's, let's forget that for a minute. Uh, Lester and Severino. Severino's good. Then you're talking about Tanaka and Kyle Hendricks. And then you're talking about Darvish, who's, who vomited all over himself in the World Series and in postseason games against Sonny Gray. Now, you might be right. It might be pretty close. But I don't know if the Cubs starting pitching is better. Do you? Yeah. I, I th- <laughs> From one to five, yes. I think our starting pitching it would make a difference. I just think that you don't want to – give the Cubs the props like you should. And any time you make a statement like the Yankees, I mean, the, the first two Yankees uh, starting pitchers that you mentioned, to me, had career years. And then they turn around and go get the Oakland, uh, what, Sonny Gray, which I think he was overrated anyway. And you put him on that, uh, that starting staff with the expectations. I don't think he's going to live up to. So the top three Yankee pitchers, I don't think, 
to even touch the Cubs. To, and, you, and Lester really shouldn't be our opening day starter, but we just doing it out of consideration from well, his past years. No, I agree. So, but, 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 Andrew, let's take it easy now on Darvish. I mean, uh, let's say Dodgers want nothing to do with him. He bombed in the World Series. He was not good for Texas in big games. Let's relax now on making Darvish out to be unhittable. Hendricks has been a pretty good postseason pitcher. He was good there a couple years ago. Pitched a two-hitter to win the pennant. He pitched pretty well in game seven before the quick hook. And Lester is Lester. Now he's been old. He's older. Um, I, I'm not. Can, I don't love the Cubs starting pitching. Uh, I, I, as far as the other six teams are concerned in the American League, we can or in the uh, Super Seven category. We continue here on Man Dog Unleashed. Don't go away. 